Well, you certainly can't complain when the first thing you find is Manhattan in the thrift store by Anchor Hawking. I didn't purchase these because I've already got, I think, two sets of creams and sugars. I don't need any more. Now, the plates, you've got to watch out and you have to know your measurements. As far as I can remember, the main difference between the Park Avenue which is the newer, and the Manhattan, which is the older, is the actual measurement of the plate. And I'm not an expert on Manhattan. So, yeah. I actually didn't buy those plates. Oh, I bought these. Now, it's filthy, but I've already cleaned them up. I absolutely love the Waterford pattern by Anchor Hawking. And we've talked about this before, uh, Waterford having nothing to do with lead crystal. Just plain old glass. This is a mid-30s into the early 40s pattern, and I've just always liked it. It's You'll hear collectors call it waffle, which it's not called waffle. And these amber uh, plates, divided plates, uh, now these were reproduced. And you want to double check because I'm pointing and I'm pointing at four particular points where you want to look and see if you see the number 76. If you see that, you've got the reproductions from the bicentennial year. These are the old ones, uh, not the prettiest amber color, I would have to say. It's sort of a yellowish amber color. That's the color that they were, how they were manufactured. But they were all in good shape, and I bought them. I also bought this beautiful tobacco humidor, and it is old, made of mahogany, porcelain lined on the inside. And there's still tobacco in it. Can you see the crumbs of the tobacco? That that's a nice box. Mm-hmm. Every bit of a hundred years old. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a key. And uh, and then here's a depression uh, bowl, pink, elegant, etched. This was a great day, thrifting. You know, I'm finding things right up my alley. Oh, it has a... Now that chip right there. Mm-mm. No. Now I know, I know, I know. But we like it when it's chipped. I know. But I try not to. If I see it, and if it's damaged like that, I say, no, nah, let's let somebody else have it. So... That bowl I didn't buy. Ne oh my word. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. See, I didn't say it. Put that down. <laughs> oh, they haunt me. I'm telling you, they gave him away at birth in Jersey and Pennsylvania. They must have. Now, those weren't old. Picture is kind of, oh, that's nice. Picture. I just love spending time in the clear glass aisle or just, you know, the crystal aisle. And there it is. There's Heisey. That's that beautiful colonial pattern that they made. I've always been attracted to this, and it's probably 
it's probably marked. Let's see if we can... Uh, yeah. I don't know. There's the H and the diamond. $10 for the picture. And the uh, colonial pattern. I... Oh, let me focus again. Get back in there. Okay. I love that pattern. And that's a nice little one. Good for the breakfast table. There's a lot of noise in here. Look at that. You can see it's just screaming to us. I am cut glass and it is cut. And that's $4 on that piece of cut. Look at, look at how it sparkles like diamonds, $4. Beautiful cut glass, not pressed, but cut. And I've already found, and I said I wasn't gonna buy any more Manhattan, but I couldn't help but buy the vase for $2. And uh, it's got the feet on the bottom. The re I shouldn't say the reproduction, but I believe the Park Avenue doesn't have the little uh, circles at the, at the base of the vase. I had, to, I had to do $2 on that. And then I'll show you the other things in the cart later on, or in the uh, hand basket, whatever you call that thing. And here's some more. Um, here are some additional pieces of uh, elegant etched glass, elegant depression rather. Let me stand back up. There's just so much to see. And look at that bowl right back there. There's some Jeanette. And there's a 25th anniversary piece. And what else? What's that back there? Uh, that might be cut as well. My goodness. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, hold on. Oh, I almost missed this. Here's this really neat sort of 1950s looking ashtray. I've had this before. And I, I, it just, I don't know if it's from the 50s or earlier than that, but it's got a really neat deco look to it. And uh, that's only $3. I've got to buy that. Let me put this down here and um, move back up. Oh, there's Orchid, that's Heisey again, right? Or is it Cambridge, I forget. Orchid, see the Orchid in there? Right there? Little th Heisey, I think. This one might not be, might not be marked. Is that who did Orchid? Oh, I forget. I get to remembering all these patterns and then you can't remember and look at that that is unusual I do not know but it had a purpose I guess this is where you would pass it around the table that's unusual and uh, look at this let's see what this is Wow, that is an old creamer. My goodness. That is beautiful. And that's $4.50. That is ancient. Well, not ancient, but you know. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. Back on the front porch. Ooh, there was a lot of noise in that store. A lot of banging going on. Here is a nice piece of Hazel Atlas in Amethyst. Yeah. It's nice and cool this morning. I Can you hear the birds and the crows and all those little chirping noises outside? Okay, now we are about to discover a set of bookends. And I imagine uh, the English majors out there who are uh, well-read, better read than I am, will understand the meaning of these. I don't know. Is it something from classical literature or the Bible or Greek history? Beats me. But we've got a gentleman here who seems to be bent over 
a book. I don't know whether he's fallen asleep or not. Looks like he's got some Greek sandals on and some kind of drape. I don't know what it was, but I bought them. Look at this old toy box. I remember one of these when I was a kid. I don't think it had cracked ice on it, but uh, I do remember the old toy box sort of covered with a plasticky, naugahyde vinyl kind of a thing. Oh, the treasure's in the toy box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Generically speaking, there's a Hoosier cabinet, but it may have been made by a different company. This one a little rough around the edges. Restorable? Absolutely. There's enough of it there. Nice old oak. $250? Okay. A craftsman can bring that back to life. I want one. I walked away from this one. I've got enough on my hands in terms of prog uh, projects, so I'm going to look for one that's in better condition than that. But not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Are you going to jump out of your skin? Wait a minute. It's got to be a reproduction. It's got to be. Let's take a close look. I don't think it's a reproduction... Guess what? It's not. <gasps> Red. Cracked ice. Oh my goodness. Look at the handles on the top of those kitchen chairs. Look at the bent tubular chrome. It's everything. It's late 40s into the early 50s. Yeah, these sets appeared on the scene earlier than you might think. They do go back to the 40s. And the collectors like to call that pattern cracked ice sometimes. Are you kidding? Four chairs and the table. Now this is 60, 70 years old. $175. Okay. One seat has got some damage. I don't really know that there's any way to repair that. I mean, I wouldn't put a piece of duct tape over it, but some people would. I'm at the Salvation Army Family Store Donation Center. And I never come to this place. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's rare. Well, you never know. It could be Tiffany Lamp Day. Mm-hmm. It could be original Edward Hopper Day. Maybe Daybreak is in here. Not Daybreak, that was uh, Parish. Maybe, um, mm, what am I thinking of? What's the famous one that Hopper, Hopper uh, did? Ooh, mid-century. Look at this bookcase. Is that for sale? I don't know, I wanna play the piano. Um, Colors of the Week, blah, 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 uh, Edward Hopper, oh, Nighthawks, that's what I'm thinking of. You think I'll find Nighthawks in here by Edward Hopper? Look at this old record player. I have to keep talking because they're playing music. It's either that or voiceover. I guess it's going to be a voiceover. Look at these two. I'm not usually attracted to colonial fig figures, figurines. She has a muff. Oh, she's only $2.99. And he... Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, well, that's what you get for picking your nose. Ah, is that... Uh, well, forget that. And he's $5.49. Why is he more expensive and he's... got some issues? Why does that happen? Oh, well. Keep shopping. Okay, don't get too excited. Yeah, you know what these are. Lotus plates, anchor hocking, platinite. The only one missing is the green. But you know what, Goodwill? Seven dollars each? Wait a minute. Is it seven dollars? Oh, you know what, you people. Uh-oh, no. Step away. That is absolutely crap.
crazy. That is simply outrageous. Goodbye. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye, Goodwill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that I got my clips out of order, but at least I'm not recording in reverse. Uh, I'm back in that Salvation Army again uh, in uh, Pennsylvania. So this is new uh, rattan furniture here for the porch. Some looks like dormitory furniture there. I guess not really. Uh, kitchen table from the 80s. I don't see anything. Oh, well, there's one. There's one piece of waterfall furniture there. Waterfall front because the way the, the veneer falls over the front like a waterfall. But I just love the hardware. Those are little tiny, um, not Bakelite, either Bakelite or Lucite celluloid uh, uh, inserts there. Highlights is what I'm trying to say on the handles. Or Catalan, I think. Oh, I'm pointing at the only piece of Victorian furniture I see. Well, really turn of the century, 1900. And it's a nice little drop front desk. Very reasonably priced at $149. Solid oak. 1890s to about 1910, somewhere in that area. Very nice piece. In good condition as well. It had never been repainted. We'll drop the front down. And very nice. Look at that chain uh, on the right hand side on which the writing surface hangs. Very well, very well made. Could be a Larkin. I didn't look on the back to see if there was a tag. I don't need it, but it was nice. And then another cruet there, pressed glass cruet. It was a pretty one. Uh, very nice, three dollars. Mm hmm. Going down the line. This is the store, I think where I found my three-door oak bookcase, if you remember. And you haven't seen that since I purchased it. I had to do a little veneer repair. I'll show it to you eventually. Look at this. In amber. How much was that? I can't see. I didn't buy it. I kind of wish I had. I thought that was nice. Probably an old one. So uh, put that back on the shelf. Oh, there's old Mildred again. The gravy boat. What a popular pattern from the 1920s. I see a lot of Mildred out there. It seems to be popular here on the East Coast. It was sold in uh, Woolworths, among others. That's not restaurant wear, that's uh, Martha Stewart. I think I saw on the news that she was on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Did you guys see that? There's a Pyrex piece and I didn't get it. There's an Avon piece. I'm just not into the Pyrex anymore. I know other folks are. A couple of Avon pieces are not really interested in that. Some nice crystals, EPG, and ooh, $24.99. Okay. Uh, isn't that the Keyhole Candlestick by Cambridge? Oh, now that I bought. You know it. 1940s, there's a little tiny chip on the lid. No big deal, but that's going in my cart. Parker Pottery. I love that stuff from the 40s and I've sold so many pieces of it and that's a nice little teapot there just a little chip on the lid a pink depression mayonnaise bowl you better put that in the cart alright you can check check for chips later 
hurry up because your nemesis could be lurking. Oh my goodness, look at the pink depression. That's a beautiful one. Now that I think is that one of those Jeanette pieces. Oh my goodness, there's even more. Look at the blue. Boy, that little chrome thing is torn up. Oh my gosh, and there's some, wait a minute. Get back up there. There's Westmoreland's uh, English hobnail. Or is it the Miss America pattern by Anchor Hawking? Can you tell the difference? Go on and put that in the cart. Stop messing with it. Okay. Are you kidding? An oak towel rack? Probably had a... What? How much? Probably had a mirror behind it, which is missing. But that's that goes back to about 1900 or so. That's the original thing. Put that in the cart. That's either going to go in the bathroom or the kitchen. Just have to stick a mirror in there. Hey, everybody, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Oh, my time is running out. Wait for the cat. John Vickerson. Mm -hmm. The least you can do is have manners enough to let me finish before you start snoring again. Okay, finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm -hmm. John, turn over on your side. Mm -hmm. Turn over on your side or go sleep in the guest room. What guest room? We haven't got a guest room. Well, it's nothing to be proud of. All our friends live much better than we do, and that's because you don't care about earning money. No. Mm -mm. You've been out of work a whole week. It's time you bettered yourself. Here we are, living like a couple of paupers. Blanche, we are not living like paupers. You have a nice home, and there's enough money in the bank to take care of us comfortably for at least six months. And only today, today, I had my life insured for $10,000. That's just like you. Always thinking of yourself first. <laughs> thinking of myself. I haven't been pushing you out to look for a job, but you might have fixed a few things around the house. Every man does. Let me sleep, will you, Blanche? No. You woke me and you're going to pay for it. Why didn't you paint the closet like I asked you to? I'll do it tomorrow. You said that yesterday. Get up and paint the closet. <laughs> what? Go on, paint the closet. Blanche, are you out of your mind? Leo Gooseby helps Doria all the time. That's why she manages to look so pretty while I go around looking at a scullery maid. I think you can say that again. Don't worry. I see the way you look at that Doria Gooseby. Oh, I never look at her. Not much. Why don't you look at me that way? What way? It's been months since you've said anything nice to me. I can't remember when you told me you loved me. Well, you know I do. But you never say it. Well, I say it all the time. But I have to goad you into You it. don't have to goad me into anything. Well, then why don't you say it? I love you.